Now we are going to discuss the factors affecting staffing. We have already this discussed that what is staffing, what is HRM. Now we are going to discuss factors affecting staffing. So there are different factors that may affect the staffing process. First one is the nature of your human resource, nature of rivalry for human resource. Second one is legal factors. Thirdly, your social culture factors. And fourth one is external factors that may influence your organization or your pharmaceutical industry. Now moving towards the first factor that is nature of rivalry for human resource. Rivalry is basically the competition for the same post or superiority in the same field. So if you are your human resource management, if your HR department is hiring unskilled person, then it will definitely affect your organization or your pharmaceutical industry. So if you are if your organization is giving preference to less talented person, it means you are not hiring competent individuals. It will definitely affect in achieving the goal. It will definitely affect your organization. It will definitely affect the reputation of your organization. So your HR department must be competent enough to select a skilled person to select a talented and competent person. Now legal factors. Legal factors may affect the organization. Child labor is prohibited. Provision are they relating to reservations for physical handicapped people. So some organizations don't prefer physically handicapped people as they think that this will affect their image of their organization. They think that physically handicapped people are not capable enough and are not physically so active to achieve their goals. So there are legal provisions that may affect the staffing policy of an organization. There may be some legal issues regarding the pay, regarding the number of staff, number of individuals, regarding timings. So there are certain factors that may affect your organization as well. Now, social culture factors. So some organizations don't offer jobs to women because they think that they are not physically active enough. So employment of women for job involving physical exertion is usually avoided. Women are not offered job involving continuous traveling. Then external influences. So your political parties can also affect your organization. They can also affect the staffing process. There may be a pressure from political parties, from directors, uh, from other uh, person who has a strong uh, relationship with the government agencies. So there is also the concept of employment to son of the soil. Some organizations prefer to hire individuals who are local to the city, who are of your country. So this concept is not good. If you have a competent person, you can hire him. So these factors, pressure factors, and your own vision, your own thinking that son of soul must be hired can influence your organization, can influence the staffing process. Now there are different internal factors that may also influence the staffing process. First one is organizational image and past practices. If you have good image of your organization, then people will be willing to enter in your organization, if you have a big size of your organization, if you have a grand business plan, then definitely they will be more staffing of the individual. So these are the factors that may affect the staffing process.